Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Sarah, I'm your quiz host today. Welcome to the third UX Research Functional Group update of 2018. A quick recap on today's rules for those of you who haven't played before. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. I'd like you to guess what the answer is by entering your choice A, B, C, or D into the chat window, and you need to do that before the countdown ends. You can only guess once per question or you will be disqualified. Keep a note of how many answers you get right as I'll ask you to post your score in the chat window a little later on. If you manage to score two or out of the three questions I asked today, uh, you will be entered into a prize draw to win a pair of GitLab sunglasses. And today's your last opportunity to enter the prize draw. We'll be announcing the winner in April's functional group update. So without further ado, let's get started. So your first question. So you may recall from my last update that the UX research team was working on the OKR to establish operations engineers as a first class citizen within GitLab. And I explained that we had two assumptions about who operations engineers are and the type of responsibilities they have. We created a survey which we sent to the UX research panel and we share through social media, relevant industry forums and so on to test these assumptions. And what I'd like to know from you is, is which of these assumptions proved to be most true? Now, C's in the lead so far. Is anyone brave enough to guess differently? Okay, I'll give you another couple of seconds to make your decision. Three, two, one, time's up. If you said C, both, you'd be wrong. Uh, it was in fact B. So results show that the second statement was found to be most true. Now this isn't to say that people who match statement A don't exist, they do, uh, but they are, are a minority at the moment. And we also discovered that there are people who currently have a combined development and operations role but who would perhaps prefer to concentrate more on the operations side. However, due to a particular challenge they're facing at the moment, which I'll touch upon in my next question, they're actually struggling to relinquish their development responsibilities. Because of these reasons, operations engineer as a job title wasn't that popular amongst respondents. Uh, we typically found that within small organizations, so that's like less than 100 employees, respondents responsible for undertaking DevOps tasks identified as a software engineer and in mid to large organizations, so that's more than 101 employees, they could be a DevOps engineer or a software engineer. So question two. So what challenges do you think DevOps and software engineers face? He's, he's in the lead so far. Clement says D. Chris is another person who says D. Anyone think differently? Pedro's gone for C. Can you trust Pedro though? He's a member of the UX team. Is he telling you the truth? Okay, three seconds, two seconds, one, time's up. If you said D, all of the above, you'd be correct. So almost half of all respondents agreed or strongly agreed that at least 40% of more of their work was still manual. So those working in operations explained that they had made attempts to update legacy systems and to automate CICD. However, their time is consumed by refactoring and resolving performance issues. And the lack of automation has only caused further technical debt. 65% of respondents agreed or strongly agreed that there aren't enough people in their team to accomplish all DevOps tasks and that recruiting skilled engineers was difficult. So most engineers have taken charge of their own self-development. 
So they're learning about DevOps alongside their existing job responsibilities. And this involves juggling multiple priorities and like a lack of automation, it drains the time that engineers have available to improve operational procedures. And finally, culture. So only 44% of respondents agreed or strongly agreed that senior leaders within their organization are engaged with DevOps. So engineers explained that they were still trying to get buy-in from stakeholders that DevOps was worth the effort and they were trying to define what the role of DevOps means within their organization. And this relates back to my previous question. So it helps us to understand why operations engineer isn't a common job title and why people are performing a dual development and operations role. So whilst their personal aim may be to become more operations centric, they're faced with the challenge of driving a cultural shift within their organization, especially amongst senior leadership. Okay, question number three. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to read the slide and select your answer. Mostly see so far. John's gone for A. Okay, three, two, one, time's up. If you said A, Prometheus, you'd be wrong. Uh, if you said B, Cabana, you'd still be wrong. Uh, the answer is C, Grafana. So almost 40% of respondents stated that they were using Grafana. However, Prometheus and Cabana are still popular answers since we discovered that the majority of respondents are in fact using at least two tools for monitoring. So small teams use a combination of Grafana and Prometheus, where larger dedicated DevOps teams use a combination of Grafana with Cabana. So please now total up your scores and post them into the chat window. Uh, whilst we're making a note of scores, I'd be happy to take any questions. Oh, Bob, that's so disappointing. <laughs> that's very true, Pedro. I hope so. Yeah, too much, uh, a bit of a dude there, if anyone can see his uh, screen at the moment. Okay, if there's no uh, further comments or questions, then that's it for today. Tune in to next month to find out who the winner was. I know you're all excited about it. There may also be a new prize, so you should definitely come back. Thanks very much, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day.